Okita Nicholson, the man in charge. Cavalier coming forward early. They would get a penalty from this. Clumsy from Shane Watson. Just inside of the box was Shanil Thomas. And Dwayne Atkinson will make no mistake. Sent Eric Edwards the wrong way. And just roll it the other side. Six on the season for Dwayne Busy Atkinson. And after 15 minutes, Cavalier with the start that they wanted. Haven't lost this season once they have led Cavalier. And today was no different. They continue to produce opportunities. Atkinson towards the back post. Kyle Ming couldn't put it on target. Atkinson again, cutting that one back to Stain. The back heel from Calvin. And that was a wonderful save by Edwards. Back to back saves. Honest custodian made. Here was the second of them. Look at that. Just tipping that over the bar. Not sure if it was Thomas or Calvin with the header. But needless to say, Eric Edwards was equal to the task. Brilliant save. And it came into the game slowly but surely. First a chance from Arboyne. And then that from Willis. Whistling over the top. As Arnett tried to find the equaliser. But it would be Cavalier. Who would find the second. Look at that. Adrian Reed Jr. His first goal of the season. A thunderbolt from 35 yards out. Beating the acrobatics of Eric Edwards. Who could do nothing about that. Tipping late was a strike. And... In stoppage time in the first half, 2-0. We thought we'd go to the end of the first half like that, but Arnett had other ideas. And, yeah, a bit clumsy, you would have to say, from the Cavalier captain. Bouncing into the back of Kahim Dixon. And Shavoni Willis making no mistake. Turned out to just be a consolation. Beating Vino Barclay to his right-hand side. That, he went, went the, the right way. Did Vino Barclay, but couldn't come up with a save. 2-1 at that stage. Now into the second half. Jaheim Thomas driving that one. But straight to Vina Barclay. Arnett had a good spell of about 15 minutes. Fabian Reed onto the park. Parker Blacks finding a strike. Barclay equal to it. Then this from Jamon Shepard that Barclay tipped over the top. Putting a lot of pressure on the back line of Cavalier for a 15 to 20 minute stretch was on it gone, Fabian Reed with that strike into the far corner. But then, Cavalier sealing the deal. A flick on header from Dwayne Busy Atkinson and Jamara Calvin has been so clinical this season and he continued here yet again, running into space. We were defending, it has to be said, from Arnett Gardens, poor as well from Watson. And Calvin just slotting that pass. The outstretched Edwards, he could do nothing about it. 13 on the season for Calvin. As he rises up the table, now the third highest scorer in the Jamaica Premier League. And that's all she wrote. 17 shots, 7 on target for Cavalier, 5 on target from 13 for Arnett. There were 19 fouls in it and 4 yellow cards shown from Okita Nicholson. All players remained on the park and that was good to see for this game. 4 saves each. For the two custodians. Majority of the corners for Cavalier. And Arnett Garden surprisingly with 58% of the possession. But unfortunately for them. The conversion rate not good enough. Cavalier on the night. 3-1. 4-2 on aggregate. They're into the final to play Mount Pleasant yet again. Lige Williams is with our man of the match. It's the teenager. Adrian Reed Jr. Yeah. Second time. You're into the final now. It was a brilliant performance by you, not only with the goal, but I have to get your thoughts on the goal first. Well, once I flicked it on and I got it back, there was only one thing on my mind. And um, fortunately, it worked out. And you've always had an eye for the spectacular, even from high school level. But you're now into the final with Cavalier for another season. You've played an integral role in both of those campaigns. What are your feelings like going into the final? Well, it's always a good feeling to make a final. Um, um, the preparations for the season, we always aim um, to reach a final and leading up to the game, it was always a good vibe in the camp, so it was really a good team effort. And you didn't start the first leg, but in the second leg you played a really pivotal role in front of that defence. Tell us something about the instructions that your coach gave you before the game. Well, the instructions were um, to protect the, the back four and to just play one and two, simple game. Well, great performance today and best of luck in the final as well. Thank you. Yeah, Adrian Reed there.
what a performance from him from the base of midfield. Young man, really fantastic for Cavalier. Coach Xavier Gilbert of Arnett Gardens. Now, Coach, that was a game with a lot of flash points, but in the end, the moments didn't just fall for you. No, it didn't, you know. Um, not happy with, with the way we executed, but um, congratulations to Cavalier. They, they, I think they executed their game plan well. Um, and they, they managed to get it tonight. But um, I'm very disappointed with the organizers or the way they start the game. Um, it's very unfortunate, but we have been in the competition in the playoff round using a specific type of ball. And today, Cavalier came and insisted that these are the balls that they are going to use, and the organizers allow them to use it. So I'm very disappointed with that. And if they're going to change, that means at least notify us, at least we could warm up with those balls. I'm not saying it, it played a part, but it might have. And, and, and for that, to allow them to use it, that's, that's the disappointing part, you know? Yeah, I can imagine. But onto the game, I, I do think that you, your team played really good for so much of it and you just couldn't get that final action in the final third. Yeah, those, um, we know, I mean, we understand what the, how they'll play and how they'll block the spaces that they'll, they'll, they'll block up. Um, but those third man runs in behind, we, we just weren't getting them tonight. And I think that's what hurted us. I think we were a little bit impatient in terms of to, us connecting and creating opportunities to score. And I think that's where we falter. But hats off to them and wish them all the best in the finals. I you know you, you have a really young team, as we spoke about before the game. You're, you're new to this stage as well in the Jamaica Premier League. I'm sure you'll be holding on the faith and coming back even better next year. Um, hopefully, you know. Um, and I mean, we, just, we have a third place playoff to, to, to concentrate on. And we're going to focus on that. Um, and, and, and hopefully we can, we can um, salvage some pride there. All right, thank you very much, Coach. Best of luck. Yeah, man. All right, thanks. Yeah. yeah, that was Coach Xavier Gilbert of Arnett Gardens. Losing team on the day. It was this man's team who have gone to yet another final coach. That game was a, 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 a hard fought one, one might say, but with all of everything that was going on, your team stayed focused and they really put in a good performance today. Yeah, everybody believes that we're a soft team and we have kids so they can do anything, but that won't work. You have to play football on the day and we were prepared. And, and your team yet again started the game really electric. You were pressing well, you were creating chances. It must help to have such a motivated set of players. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, one of the secrets with our players is all of these players want to play professional overseas, so they're trying to really build up their stock. So it makes coaching easier because they're already motivated. And your team into yet another final. You've been progressing and progressing and progressing. You're going to play a team that you played last season, Mount Pleasant. They got the better of you. I'm sure you're really eager to get the better of them this time. Well, you know, congratulations to them. Um, both of us are two decent teams. Of course, it's always a pleasure playing against them. Um, so next week will be the same. Yeah, and before the interview, before Coach Xavier Gilbert spoke about the issue with the footballs that stopped the start of the game. Anything to say about that? Oh, that's a that joke. They need to be stop being amateur and become professional like our team. The, the person who is their home game provide the ball. That's what we have done in the Caribbean Cup. When Jamaica is playing, they provide the football. So when we are playing at our home, we provide the football. That's it. I wasn't going to allow anybody to bully me and decide that they're going to use their ball. No, this is my um, semi-final. I am the home team. It's my ball using. And um, nobody can take away my rights. All right. Thank you very much, Coach. And best of luck in the final you're as welcome. well.